Okay, what do we got here? We have a piece of topaz. Um, this is a little heavier than I expected. It's not just like a little piece of glass. It's got a little bit more heft to it than glass. So I'm kind of doing the inspection phase here. For this, I'm trying to figure out what's the best orientation to put an icosahedron inside of this into this area over here. I think that should do best. I made this program that calculates all different kinds of dimensions on the die. It's helpful for kind of this kind of stuff to figure out what to put things. So that would be a width of 25.5. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get we're gonna get a bigger die if we put an edge here and an edge there. That line will be this edge here. All right, let's grind it flat on here and put a dop on it. Kind of bunch of facets at 90 degrees. That does a good job outlining the stone to kind of see how much of it it can use. You see a little bit of yellow right in the middle of the screen right now, right here. That's actually a crack that's filled, I think, with iron oxide or something. And we'll have to make sure we grind that all the way out. So that might be the limiting factor on how big the stone can be. The crack worked out fine. It's gonna end up being cut out finally by the bevel cut. On this thing, I'm gonna do star cut and a bevel cut and mix them together and see how it looks. That's just the 1200 group before we cut in the star facets. Starting to be able to see through the stone though. This is kind of my favorite part because you really get a sense for what it's gonna look like inside. A few people have asked why I slide the stone back and forth on the lap, and the reason for this is pretty simple. It's just to use the entire lap so that it will wear out evenly and I'll get more life out of it. Also, it's a secret technique that imparts a lot of magic into the dice that make them roll nat 20s. Or maybe nat 1s.
I started this YouTube channel because I really wanted to share the dice and the process of making the dice with people. I can only make a few dice a month, so it's really hard to share the actual dice with everyone, and this YouTube is kind of an outlet to allow that. I'm really grateful that so many people have found this, and I love reading the comments, and I think it's so cool that so many people are watching. If you want to see what I'm working on currently, I have an Instagram channel, it's hedron.rockworks, and I post live updates and things that I'm currently working on there. We have a new toy in the shop. This is a relatively inexpensive mill that I adapted a drag knife to so I can cut vinyl very accurately. I'll talk more about this in the next video, but I want to take a little time to thank the community. Shout out to Chris who opened my eyes here. He reached out, bonked me on the head for not using a plotter to cut the masks. Truth be told, I didn't think a plotter could cut things this accurately. I was so wrong and I'm glad to know it. Thanks to everyone who's suggesting improvements to the process. We can all learn together. keep my hands steady for this. I'm really excited to see what this looks like as I demask it. Mm -hmm.